Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to install our LC Infinium mechanical connector and the process it takes to do that. I'm going to show you using our fiber holder and jig tooling. Don't forget you can reference your instruction sheet that comes with every box of connectors. Now the tooling here, why we have this tooling is to really force the 10 millimeter cleave. The instructions call out a 9 to 11 millimeter cleave, so if you hit, hit 10 millimeters, you're perfect. And that's what this tooling does. It really forces you to have your cleave length proper. So I'm gonna prep my fiber. I'm gonna approximately strip off 25 to 30 millimeters of jacket. Now I'm gonna take the coating off. You have to get that coating off. If you don't get that coating off, you'll never cleave properly and it will never terminate properly. At this point, I'm gonna use a fiber cleaning cloth and some fiber grade cleaner. I'm gonna wipe my fiber down. This also checks the integrity of your fiber and that sound is what you're looking for. Squeaky clean. At this point, I'm gonna take my fiber holder I'm going to show you. There's three different um, gates on this. And if you'll notice, it slides. You always want to start, before you put your fiber in, in the forward position like that. So now I can take my fiber, place it into the holder, and there's a little fiber groove. And when I shut my first gate, notice where my thumb is. I'll make it easy for you. I shut my first gate, and it still moves. I can slide that fiber back. And what you want to do, per the instructions, is leave your fiber out one to two millimeters of jacket showing exposed. Once I close my second gate, that fiber is locked in place. Now the third gate, be careful because you are on a little angle. You want to make sure you're in the groove and lock that into place. And that is the proper setup for your fiber. At this point, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to pull out a connector. Remember, this is a mechanical connector. There's actually a spring load in here. What's keeping that spring loaded is this plastic cap. You notice the two ends here? When you push these, this cap is gonna pop off. And when that pops off, that engages the cam. So I'm gonna put it back into place for now because we're not ready. I will load my connector into the jig. And if you notice right here, there's a little lip on the front of this connector. There's also a little lip in the front of this jig. Tab down goes into the hole. When I put this in correctly, that engages and locks into place. I should be able to turn it upside down like that. See the tab? At this point, I'm gonna show you how to cleave. Oops. Hey folks, I'm just showing you something here. A little silly of me. What has to go on first? Always the boot. So obviously I'm not in a field situation. I could do this now. If I had to do it in a field situation, I would have to restart at this point. The beauty of this is, if you do this in the field, if you did the whole connector, you could redo the connector. This is a reusable connector. Okay, this is the Ortronics Precision Cleaver. Again, made for this tooling. This is an FC7 Sumitomo cleaver, again, with this groove made for the tooling. If you haven't seen my other video, I did a whole video on just the tooling. Please reference that. So to cleave, Go into the groove, slide your cleave forward just like this to the hard stop. You would close it and cleave. I'm not going to do it right now just because I want to show you with the other one. Same thing here. You would slide your fiber forward to the hard stop, and when you close it, this will cleave automatically. I'm going to go back to the electronics one, and I'll make that cleave. See that, folks? What this did was enforce you to get a 10 millimeter cleave. I'm going to show you something pretty cool about this tooling. This jig right here, you see these little markings? See how it looks like a piece of fiber? Well, it is. If you overlay your holder now and your jig, see how my fiber, my jacket, it's a go-no-go -no -go is what I call it. It's a warm, fuzzy feeling. Overlay it, it looks good just like that. That way I know I have the proper length. At this point, I'm ready to cleave. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm ready to terminate. 
Now this holder just slides on top of the jig. So you have to use your, you know, your eyes there to make sure you slide it in properly. And what I'm going to do is slide it together to what I call a soft stop right there. That's a soft stop. At this point, <clears throat> I'm going to open up the second gate. And notice where my hands are. I kind of hold the whole assembly together, my fiber and my tools, so everything stays in place. Open the second gate. Once I open that second gate, I move my hands to the outsides again and I continue sliding together. You'll hear a click. There's your click. And right here, you have positive pressure going forward. See the bow of your fiber? That is exactly what you want to see. So you just want to tap it. You don't have to hit it hard. You just want to make sure you have that positive pressure and you're seated properly into your connector. Now at this point, I'm going to remove my cap and that's what's going to engage my, my spring to lock the fiber into place. Again, placement of my finger, I'm holding my fiber in place. I pull this top open and I gently squeeze till the cap comes off. Now that just locked the fiber in place. I can open the other two gates and I'm ready to do a visual. What I didn't explain is, see these two windows right here? Those are your visual windows. When I put my light source on, if there's no light coming out of these windows, you're doing fine. If there is light coming out of the windows, we're going to remake this connector. Again, reusable. And by doing that, we'll show you, I'll show you after. You have to save this cap and put it back in place. I have already set up my, notice I haven't put my boot on yet and that's fine. Either way, different types of cleaning tools. I have already set up my attenuator and my LC. Again, you must have the LC that has the open window. Again, I made a video on that. When I click this together, put my LC into my adapter. Therefore, I can see both windows. I have my attenuator on. You shall have an attenuator. Again, reference the other video. It's a 3 to 5 dB attenuator. Take my light source. This happens to be an SC. So I have an SC, an SC um, fiber cord with a SC attenuator. Make sure I'm on, and then I look for light. And there's no light coming through those windows, which is a bright red light. You've made yourself a good connector. At this point, I'm very comfortable with that. Anytime I click or unclick, I clean my fiber put my cap back on, and the last step would be installing my boot. So, just like that. A couple things happening. What happens if you're in the field and you didn't put your boot on? You're already done? Or what if you have light coming out and you have to remake this? Well, you can take your boot off, pass the little clips, take your cap, which you will have I'm going to flip this over for you. There's two little pediments sticking out and two obrons on the bottom. Those obrons stick into the light source of the obrons on the connector. When I slide this forward, it will fall into place like that. See the placement? I take both thumbs, notice they're over the holes, and I squeeze very hard to engage that spring. At that point, I lock my tab back into place. I can readdress putting on a cap. Of course, if I had a cap, I would want to recleave because you don't want to damage any fiber. But if there was a bad connector, you can pull your fiber back out, slide it back in. Again, see my fingers, positive pressure, flip my top open, and squeeze all in the same motion. It's that positive pressure forward you must have. I am going to once again check my light source. Which is on. And no light. So that's how you would correct an issue. If you had light coming through there. Now remember folks, well, we uh, call out three times that you can reuse these connectors. There is index matching gel in there. And the other thing is, Take a visual of your fiber when you take it out. If you've broken your cleave and it's inside the connector, of course, you cannot reuse the connector. Thank you very much.